Have you ever spent hours trying to hunt down rabbits for their feet to brew those leaping potions? Well, I sure have. And since rabbit feet are so rare, it takes ages to actually acquire them. Let's all make sure it never happens again. Welcome, my name is Zeal and in this video, I will show you how to build the most efficient and resource-friendly rabbit farm. I am a Minecraft player who likes to mess around with redstone. I have been playing on a realm called Mooncraft for quite some time now, and I've met talented people with whom I have invented nice machines. For instance, this absolutely flawless, compact and completely operational potion brewer that I'll talk about more in the next video. As you can see, this machine doesn't have enough rabbit feet to operate, and I'm here to solve this problem. This design can have a very large number of rabbits. They don't move around much and they cannot escape. When I want to breed them, I only need to go above Press this button and feed them carrots. When I am done, I just need to press the button again to let the babies fall down on the honey block without dying from fall damage. I can wait for them to grow up or even feed them more carrots to speed their growth. I can kill them easily from this vantage point with a looting 3 sword and all the loot gets into a chest underneath. Since honey blocks are one of the most fragile blocks in the game, you will want to push the rabbits above a block that you will have no chance of breaking with a sword. Just like that. This is a list of the materials needed to build this farm. This list will also be present in the video's description. First, let's build the collection area. You will need a double chest and two hoppers. On top of the second hopper, let's place a powered rail and a hopper minecart. You need to break the powered rail to avoid the honey block from sticking to it, because it would break the contraption. Next, we need the kill zone. A sticky piston, one block here, a honey block with blocks above to build the hole. Here we need a non-movable block of any kind to avoid the honey block from sticking to it when it moves. The choice of glass blocks are useful to see through. And fences don't connect to them to allow babies to fall. Here we place a dispenser with a water bucket inside to help us feed the rabbits in the breeding area. More glass is needed to create the chute and above the dispenser, you need to place a solid block to allow the redstone signal of the button to reach the dispenser. These trap doors will prevent the rabbits from escaping and falling babies won't fall outside. Let's place some stairs to easily lure your first rabbits in the breeding chamber. Here we need to link the sticky piston to a redstone line connected to a lever on a block. As you can see, the block of the kill chamber changes very quickly. This is an example of how you will bring your first rabbit inside the farm in survival. Come on! Come little rabbit! Don't be afraid. <laughs> oh well. You will probably want to place temporary fences around here to avoid tragedies, but for the time being I'll just add them with eggs. 
Now you need to drink a leaping potion to jump inside in order to push the grown-ups to the sides for the babies to fall down more easily. And let's place a fence to avoid falling in the hole. I'm going to feed them some carrots to see if they breed correctly and they do. And now I will give carrots to the babies to make them grow. These green particles are in the way, so drinking some milk will solve the issue. Grown rabbits all die in one hit and their loot goes directly in the chest underneath, as intended. And this is a quick example on how you can hide the redstone and make the design a little bit prettier by using slabs and stairs. Feel free to use any building block you want. Now that we have enough rabbit feed for the potion brewer, let's feed the machine and see what happens. <laughs> this is so satisfying. Well, I am grateful that you stayed with me for this whole video. I hope you will brew all the leaping potions you need and finally be able to fill your own super potion brewer with rabbit feet. Thank you very much and see you soon.